You would have thought Kyrie Irving had everything he wanted. A championship ring thanks to his Game 7 winning shot, lucrative endorsements, and a teammate in LeBron James who will go down as one of the best ever. He continues to perform and continues to come back and come back again and again and again. That's the echo of greatness. I'm just eternally grateful to have a guy like that. Yet throughout Irving's career, one thing is apparent. His insatiable thirst to explore the next challenge. Kyrie Irving has asked for a trade. He said the Cavs were in a, quote, very peculiar place. He's trying to be proactive with his own career. This rocks Cleveland. Irving shocked the NBA last July when he asked out of Cleveland. But what wasn't reported at the time was the Cavaliers explored trading Kyrie well before that. Irving would have gone to Phoenix in a three-way swap that would have landed Cleveland both Paul George and Eric Bledsoe, whose agent is Rich Paul, same as LeBron. Kyrie's camp became convinced it was LeBron's group that brought up that trade, although league sources tell me it was actually former Cleveland GM David Griffin who put those talks in motion. Either way, Irvin says, they didn't want me there. LeBron tells me that that quote makes absolutely no sense. But that's all he tells me. He says he's moved on from talking about Kyrie and their relationship. At the end of the day, uh, the kid did what he wanted to do. The three years that we had together, unbelievable three years. Now I wish we could have continued that. Now my energy is to the guys that's, you know, in the land. Irving has moved on too to Cleveland's Eastern Conference rival, the Boston Celtics. He says he's happy and enjoying the long process of bringing Boston another banner. A spectacular night for Kyrie. Right the show the ball and clap. Watches the three. Got it. Oh, wow. That's just unbelievable. Play the game on the line. Kyrie's been the man. So what is Kyrie Irving searching for? Greatness on his terms.